Well, what a great cook, and hopefully you felt inspired because Poe put together a great bunch of ingredients. And this mystery box challenge is all about putting yourself in the prime Poe position for the next challenge, which is the invention test. First up to the tasting bench is... John. I've worked hard to put up this dish, and it's a dish that I enjoyed while I was growing up. It brings back memories every time I eat this dish, and that's the experience I wanted the judges to have. I've cooked um, bibinka, which is a sticky rice cake with a coconut um, caramel glaze with cucumber and lime pickle. And I've also served it with a palm sugar milk ice cream and toasted coconut. Beautiful. My food dream is about sharing the Filipino um, dish with the Australian public. In John's style. Definitely. Dive in. I think I'm, I'm really excited by this because my mission on MasterChef was to put Malaysian food on, you know, Australian dining tables. Yeah. So, and um, is your mum going to be reeling watching this? Because it's so different from the traditional version. She will be. <laughs> That's what I used to get all the time <laughs> as well. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Love it. You've got that really like um, springy texture, stickiness of the rice, and you've really punched with all those flavours. But it's just, that's absolutely delicious. Really, really love that. That crunch yeah. and the milk and the palm sugar, so that kind of dark, sugary, and complex flavour you get is really beautiful. is incredibly good. I love it. It's put a big smile on my face. What a great start to the week. That is absolutely the bomb. The cucumber. Oh, the cucumber. A little bit, there's a little bit of pithy bitterness, which, which reduces the sweetness of the palm sugar ice cream. It's fantastic. Um, I love the food of the Philippines, but this is a really refined version of it. I think that is amazing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling really happy. Mum was making a living cooking these bibinkas and cooking it today, it's probably the most proudest moment that I've had in this competition. Next dish we'd love to taste belongs to Georgia. Carrying my dish up to Poe and the judges, I'm really nervous. I really want to push myself, but there's always that fear that you're doing something that doesn't really go and that the judges might actually cringe at. Today I've made coconut and lime eclair with a glutinous rice filling and a lime caramel on top. I think, I think we have to share them together, don't you? <laughs> I think so. some technical problems with the profiterole for me. They're not very dark, they're very pale, so it needs to have a texture of its own. And when I bite through it, I've got caramel stuck on my teeth, eh? Okay. But I love the idea of it, I really do. Like, it's a great idea to pull an idea like that out of the mystery box, pat on the back. I think there's a genesis of something there that you can take and develop yeah. and kind of um, maybe shuffle the textures around a little bit. As the competition gets tougher and creativity becomes more and more important, you're really coming to your own. So I see this as another step in the development of Georgia. It's good development. Well done. Well done, Thank Georgia. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm walking away feeling really proud of myself and really motivated to give these eclairs another go. Next up. Reynolds. When the judges call out my name, I'm really shocked, uh, really surprised, at the same time quite happy. I really want to prove to judges that I can balance the flavours well and savoury. What's the dish? Butter poached prawns with uh, prawn oil vinaigrette and um, lamb aioli. Nice. What do you think, Poe? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Mm. It does look really lovely. I think the balance is excellent. You've got your salty sweet sour really beautifully balanced. Um, prawns are poached perfectly. 
I think it's, it's a really beautiful dish, Reynold. I think that's the thing. You eat it all together completely. The pickled cucumber, the butter prawns. It's wonderful. Cook more savoury food, man, because that's great. Thanks, guys. Jessie. She's my most favourite contestant ever. As I take my dish up to the judges and Poe, I am feeling proud. This is a cucumber soup with coconut prawns and a chilli oil. Okay. Beautiful. Looks great, doesn't it? I love the sort of richness of the fried prawn with all its crispy bits and stuff, and then um, that really refreshing cucumber soup on the bottom. And um, yeah, it's really balanced. It's really nice. I think it's a really, really pleasant dish to eat. I just love those big crispy prawns. I mean, the idea of just crunching the shells and pulling off the crispy bits off the outside is smashing. Thank you. Next up, another dessert. Rose. Rose. Oh, my God. I'm getting the... <laughs> Finally. Yes. Rose is here. Yes. Yes. Oh, I haven't been tasted before. In case you have Congratulations. Guessed. Thank you. <laughs> really excited. Turn the corner, yeah? Yeah. What have you cooked? Um, I've cooked an... I'm so excited, I can't even talk. That's okay. Um, I've cooked a lime palm sugar coconut upside down cake with a lime and chilli caramel. Yum. Yeah. Can we come up? We just want to come up. Can I just say how elegant this dish looks? And I know we've had an issue with some of your plating in the past, but that is beautiful. Thank you. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely, dense pudding in all the right ways. Um, and I love that caramel. Love the ch little chilli hit in it and um, the lime. Uh, what can I say? It's just great, great food. Yeah. Really, really good. I know what we're more excited about, the pudding itself or the, the light bulb moment you've had. And I think when you come to MasterChef, everyone feels like they're not good enough at the beginning. Everyone and everyone gets frustrated because they get knockbacks and setbacks, but the winners are the ones that turn the corner. About third, two thirds of the way through, cooking like that, you could go all the way. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. <laughs> I want to dance. Like, I just want to dance. I just want to do this little happy dance, but I'm not. I'm going to keep it cool. Like, oh, my God. Well done, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I got through that really rough patch at the start, and I really feel like I'm oh here God. now. Like, I feel like I am in this competition, and I am in with a shot.